Hello everyone. You must know that DSA is one of the most important topics when it comes to your coding interviews. But don't you worry, we have got you all covered. I am Devashish Khare, a DSA mentor here at Geeks for Geeks, and in this video, we'll be discussing top 10 most important topics that you must know for acing your next coding interview. And these topics are not only important for your coding interviews, but also a very important factor when it comes to building robust and efficient software systems. So let's jump into it. First one, time and space complexity. Talking about time complexity, well, it is basically the measure of time which your algorithm may take depending upon the input size. And talking about the space complexity, it is basically the extra space that is required for an algorithm to work. And these two topics are very important when it comes to your interview because the interviewer may ask about the approach that you are using and how much complex it is and may even ask you to optimize it. You must know these topics to cater those questions. Coming to the next one, searching and sorting. Well, this is a very essential way to organize and manage your data. When we talk about searching, we are finding some particular values from the data sets. And when we talk about sorting, we are talking about how we can organize this data in a very efficient manner. When it comes to your interviews, interviewer may ask you questions around these topics, or they can even ask questions about any of the famous approaches or algorithms that are used for searching and sorting directly. So coming back to the concepts, next we have recursion. Recursion is a very powerful programming approach in which you can solve problems which can be broken down into simpler problems of same size. And recursion forms the pedestal for most of the very important DSA topics that are prominently asked in interviews. Then comes arrays and strings. Arrays and strings are very fundamental data structures. Arrays are sequential data structures which store elements of same data type and strings are sequential data structures which stores characters. And these two data structures might seem very simple to you, but these include questions like subsequences and substrings and a string matching, which are very top-notch questions that are asked in interviews. Next one is bit manipulation. And bit manipulation is a technique by which we can manipulate bits inside a binary number. This is a great way of optimizing some of the very complex problems. And we can even bring down complexity to log n. And this tendency of bit manipulation is very favorite for all the interviewers and they ask it in the interviewers a lot. Following up, we have linked list. And linked list is a data structure which has nodes connected in a sequence. And each node has basically two fields, data and pointer. Where data, we can store uh, either a single element or as many as we want. The compulsory field is pointer, which will be pointing to the next node. Mastering linked list is very important because this is a very fundamental data structure and the very first data structure that we built from scratch, which gives us full control over its customization. During interviews, interviewer may ask questions which are directly related to linked list, or it could be basic operations, just like finding something or merging to linked list or detecting a loop inside a linked list. This is a very famously asked topic. Next comes trees, and trees are in a way very similar to linked lists. They also have node, but in linked lists, every node has just one connection, which is to the next node, and they are arranged in a linear fashion. But if you talk about trees, what happens is trees node might have more than one connections, and they are set in a level. Thus, it gives it a hierarchical structure. Interview question on trees are basically around uh, the traverses that you learn inside trees. But what happens is uh, the interviewer might give sometimes very tricky variations of those basic traversals. And coming on to the next one, we have heaps and priority queues. These are very efficient data structures in which you can perform operations like insertion and deletion in complexity as low as log n. These are used when we basically need the elements in the order of their priority, or we simply need uh, the highest or the lowest element in case of heaps. In interviews, these are less likely to be asked directly to you but you should know that where you can use these concepts so that you can reduce the time complexity and serve a best solution. Coming on to the last two topics, it is graphs and dynamic programming. And these two topics are often considered very tough in the coders community, but don't you worry, with proper guidance and consistency, you can learn it easily. As in trees, the nodes have a defined order that they have to be in a hierarchy. In graphs, there is no particular order defined. Every other node is interconnected with each other and they do not have any defined pattern. Coming to dynamic programming, well, this is a concept that you can use to highly optimize your codes. By using dynamic programming, the time complexity can be reduced drastically. The main motive behind this is that we have to reduce the number of redundant calculations that we are doing in order to achieve the best optimal solution. 
And if the interviewer wants to increase the level of the interview, well, then these are the topics that he can pick from. And graphs and dynamic programming might not be asked directly to you in any of the interview, but you should know that where are these concepts can be implemented and where you can use them to provide the best optimal solution. And that concludes our 10 DSA topics that are majorly asked in coding interviews. And learning all these topics might seem a little too much, but we have got you all covered. All the resources are mentioned in the description. You can go and check them out. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends. And at last, don't you worry. GFG Karlo, ho jayega.